This week on Sail Away, we finally received a rebuilt pump for our water maker and finished the install of our upgraded and refurbed system with only a couple minor snacks. So meet me on that island Kiss me on that shore Hey, promise me that we'll sail away And I'll be yours forevermore Just promise me that we'll sail away And I'll be yours forevermore What we have going on here is another reorganization of our water maker and all the components because our pump is almost finished and they're going to be hopefully shipping it today or tomorrow. It has some bad seals that they fixed, but it sounds like it's going to be working great. While we're at it, we are adding a second pre-feed pump. And by doing so, with our particular model, uh, we will basically almost double our water production. So that's what I'm kind of trying to prepare today. I've got a bunch of crap here. I've got our switches. I've got some new hose, wiring, fittings, stuff I've been gathering. It's been hard to find all the stuff we need. I've also got a new accumulator tank. They're pretty cheap, so I thought it would be a good idea to replace it. So that is what I'm doing today, trying to get prepared for when the pump comes. Hopefully I can just sort of bolt it in, hook it up, and we'll be ready to make water. Good morning. That's all morning. right. Welcome to the creepy world of the Virgin Islands. That's not fog. Mm -mm. That's not... No. It's been like this for two days now. And that is just dust from Africa. We'll have to cut in some pictures of what it looked like before but you could see all the way out there there's like container ships that are anchored out visibility was awesome you can't see anything now we haven't been coughing exactly but it doesn't feel right like, just sitting up here last night it was real bad it was real hot just sitting up here breathing just felt first time we've ever experienced this though Perfect. yeah it is nine about nine o'clock right now so, yeah. it looks like, I don't know, dusk. And it normally looks like this. Have water maker parts. Okay, I wanna see you get this thing off the boat by yourself. Excited for some water see, and I'm a fresh go shower, and we're gonna clean things. <laughs> the bilge. <bilch. laughs> right. Our new second pump. Double our production. I'm gonna take it back and build. I don't know where. New fittings, pressure gauge. They mounted it to a board which was glued into the box. That's it. 
Everything should be pretty set up to go down there, though, so I don't think it'll be too bad. We'll, uh, we'll see here in a minute. Okay. All right, I think I'm ready to do this. Step one, beer. This is one of those manly jobs. you got to have a beer first. I think I'm going to start with our new pressure meter, uh, our old one. As you can see, it's missing a couple of little pieces, and it's looking pretty rough. So this should be a drop-in replacement. We'll see. <laughs> Next up is our pre-feed pump, the second one. Don't want to go too crazy with a wrench on these, but we do need them to point down. I would like to aim for tighter rather than looser. All right, she's pretty much ready to go. Now I've got this spot all set up, ready to go for us. Got our new fan mount down there. Uh, there's a little bit of room for them to swing. But we have basically two inlets and two outlets as far as hoses go. And they are arranged in a somewhat confusing T manner. Okay. In and out. So that is pretty good setup. This should be free and clear. It looks like it won't touch. And then I'm just going to hook these up and you can see how it goes. So I'm just going to trim that hose. There's good. So that one goes to the end of that. This one goes to the out of this one. So now we have both the pre-feed pumps hooked up. Uh, we have all wiring hooked up to both switches. We have our new pressure gauge installed. And I believe everything is hooked up. I think we're in pretty good shape. Just gotta hook up the big daddy. So here's the whole setup. But basically we've got our, our flow comes in to our valve panel. From that inlet, it goes over here to our strainer. From the strainer, it goes to this T-fitting, which splits off and goes to the inlet of both these pumps. And the outlet of both these pumps goes back into another T-fitting, which comes around into our double filters, which goes over into yet another T-fitting that hops off over to our accumulator pump, pressure gauge is run off of that little line there and then the other side of that T of course goes to the Clark pump Clark pump then also has an outlet and that goes back here to the panel and to the brine discharge switch or lever I should say valve whatever and so all that is hooked up I just have to put the Clark pump right in its little spot there get it piped into our membrane and then get the uh, the water feed hoses hooked up to it, and I think we'll just be about ready to give this thing a try. This is my MacGyver Bill Nye moment, if it works. This little ferrule's got to go over the hose, and it just will not go. I don't know if the hose is just it's a little old, so it's expanded a tiny bit. I don't know what else to do. I'm soaking it in ice water try to get it to get smaller. A few minutes is probably... I think it's cold. Failed. Yeah, my Bill Nye moment did not work. I did not get that, that little ferrule to slide onto the tubing, except right at the very end. That's just not how they're supposed to work. I'm probably gonna have to just go buy new high pressure fittings somewhere. 
So we got the water maker on Friday back, which you saw. You also saw how that didn't work. So now it's Monday and we're going to, what's it called? Reef? Reef Co. Co. Air conditioning and service, something like that. But they supposedly have parts and service for a lot of water maker brands, including Spectra. So let's get on out of here. Yeah, Hope we don't pull loose. This is freaking overwhelming. We have not been on the boat that long. We've been on the boat for a year. We've been actually out on the water for six months, a little more than that. And I can't handle just walking down the sidewalk in a city. This is like not anywhere near as big as the cities we had in the US, mainland. Back. Tons and tons of that. Just uh, ready to get the hell out of here. Proceed. I know. Just because, just because we can. It's kind of a problem that I have. I'm like, oh, I can walk with a beer outside. Like, that means I want a beer. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, Lauren literally said, oh man, every time I go past one of these places, I just want to stop and get a beer because we can. And then, <laughs> yeah, roughly two minutes later. It's a bad habit that we're going to have to break a minute like it's still so fun. You know what is a long walk and it's hot. And again, we can. Uh, the whole thing was like six fifty. So. Ahoy, folks! Just a quick interruption to remind you to please like, subscribe, and ring the bell. All three really help us to grow our channel. And if you'd like to support these videos even more, take a stroll through our newly revamped Patreon page. There are plenty of options and tons of fun benefits like satellite tracking of Cecilia, discounts in the gear shop, memberships to special groups on Facebook and Instagram, and much more. We hope you'll check it out. But regardless, we really just appreciate you watching. And now, back to the show. All right, we're down to the, the, the second or third or fourth moment of truth that we've been through so far. Everything is plumbed. I got the brand new high-pressure lines on and they should be tightened to spec oh, yeah. everything should be hooked up properly run run service and run one minutes and we will pressurize it and hope there are no more water explosions other than an explosion of product water into our tanks. I've just increased the pressure and the uh, pump is moving back and forth. I'm just on one pump right now just to kind of ease our way into things. Watermaker is working great. I mean it's it's putting out eight and a half gallons per hour uh, and when we double up the pumps right about 15 which is what we were hoping for we have 15 gallons an hour good because I'm gonna drink some water right now the best news of all is that right there 
running at a nice steady 70 some PSI and putting out about 14 to 15 gallons an hour. That is awesome. A big old blob of pizza dough right there. Whoa! So Lauren won't mix the pizza dough from scratch. And then she makes the sauce from scratch. And then basically I just take over and make the pizza. And it seems like I made the pizza. It seems like I made the it's a pretty good deal. Good job, dude. You too. Thanks. Um. Good job, dude. <laughs> Drifted away on an ocean. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and ring that bell. And a huge thanks to all our patrons for their additional support. If you'd like to become a member of our crew, just check out our Patreon link in the description. But Cheers. I'd be listless and lonely if I didn't have you to hold me as the sun sets and miles roll by.